We have a few days left in April and I have been slacking on any type of yearly, monthly, and weekly goals. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a huge monthly reset so I can get myself back on track with life. Today, I'm going to bring you guys along my monthly reset checklist. It's kind of a mixture of everything. So cleaning, planning, grocery shopping, and a little bit of self-care. Cleaning for me is number one because it always takes the longest. So the first thing that I want to do is tackle this room. I think we all know the worst part about cleaning is laundry. So that's where I'm starting first today. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like really up close right now, but I'm gonna make it a goal to print out some pictures this week because I have had them like this for way too long and honestly, they're really cute frames. So I think it's time to put some nice photos in there. So in the meantime, don't judge me for putting them up on my dresser again with no photo. always crazy to me. For now that my sheets are in the washer, I have a few errands I need to run. Today I saw my pile of books that I cleaned out from my closet two months ago. So I was like, okay, they gotta go. So I'm gonna go to a bookstore to see if I can donate them. And then I have a few returns. I need to pick up a few things for my pets and then possibly a quick grocery run. taking all of them and <laughs> I didn't really come here for the money I really just wanted to get rid of these books already but this is a spot where you drop them off and you can sell them I probably gave them like 20 books and I got five dollars again 
I didn't come here for the money, but those were like brand newish books and that was such a ripoff. But I knew that if I took them back, I would have just kept them in my room again, which is what I'm trying not to do anymore. And they just needed to go. So I honestly don't even really care that much. <laughs> back home I was able to get all of my errands done which felt really good but now it's time for some planning I used to do monthly and weekly goals often but now I don't even remember the last time I did that so I really want to make sure I include that today I have my laptop here and I'm gonna be using notion to set everything up I'm gonna start off with some personal goals I'm currently looking for a job just for the summertime because I am gonna be starting my dog breeding business soon but for now I'm just gonna put apply to three jobs, gain 30 new subscribers, create a balanced morning and nighttime routine, less screen time. I want to read two books, which I have a feeling I'm going to be reading more, but at least two books is my goal. <laughs> Try one new hobby and be present with family and friends. I feel like this past month I spent a lot of time on my phone or with a book in my face so going into May I actually want to focus on that quality time with the people that I'm with. Now for health I'm just gonna put start at home Pilates and use sauna every night those are my monthly goals at the moment i don't really want to write too many down because i don't want it to end up feeling like a struggle to accomplish but i am going to be making some weekly goals because the best way to achieve at least one of these is by breaking them down and making it easier for me to do so so in order for me to have less screen time i'm gonna limit myself to only two hours of social media every other day like i said scrolling has been a big issue for me lately so i really Really feel like this is necessary. I want to read for 30 minutes every night before bed, which is also going to be replacing my phone. I think this is going to help me get a much better sleep at night, which will then turn into a balanced morning and nighttime routine. I'm also going to put try at least one pottery class. This is something I have been wanting to do, but I've just been really nervous about it for some reason, and I honestly think it would be a hobby that I'd really enjoy doing. And then lastly, post good content because I cannot convince you to want to be here enough and join me if I don't have entertaining content for you guys. Okay, my goals have been made and the next thing I want to do is plan out videos for the month. I recently did this and I wrote it in my notebook so I just need to transfer them to my iPad. This helps me be a lot more organized and I don't feel like I'm constantly trying to play catch up with every vlog. I just want to be at least one video ahead every week and I think doing this is going to make it a lot easier for me to get there. have my entire month planned out as of right now which feels great the last thing i want to do is a little bit of self-care i feel like that's a good transition into the other portion of my reset i was able to do some cleaning errands planning and now i get to have a personal reset i 
and didn't wash my hair because it has been shedding so much lately so i want to do a hair mask tonight i'm gonna use coconut oil and rosemary oil apparently those two are supposed to help and make your hair grow a lot faster so i'm gonna put that in my hair in a little bit but i also have these guys with me this is a nose strip and this is a lip mask I've never tried it before, but honestly, my lips need it right now. I feel like I've been getting a lot more blackheads lately. That's something I've always struggled with, but I just feel like it's more than ever. These always make me feel like I got a nose job. <laughs> okay, wow, that is sitting for 15 minutes. I am gonna do this lip mask at the same time. I wonder if it's like that jelly mask for your face. I'm gonna look crazy right now. <laughs> okay, first of all, my lips are not shaped like that. <laughs> my lips are clearly gonna be very hydrated after this. That made me look ridiculous, but my lips do feel really good and I love that. You can put the rest of this on your skin as well. Now for the worst part. <laughs> oh my god. Cool. Oh wow, got a decent amount out. These always make me tear up so bad. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare before I put that mask in my hair. Literally the only thing I use is this aloe moisturizer. This has been the best moisturizer for my skin so far because it's literally just aloe, so it's really fresh and clean. But I am sadly reaching the end of it. <laughs> I told you guys how I stopped using several products on my skin and honestly it feels a lot better my face feels a lot cleaner I'm still dealing with acne but I have felt much better this way I also use a vegan face wash and then sometimes I switch it to this bar soap that is supposed to help with dark spots and acne I've used it a few times and it really does work then I'm gonna be using my babe lash serum my eyelashes also used to shed a lot more before. They've been doing pretty good. I think I also notice a difference when I'm using makeup wipes and when I'm using cotton pads. The cotton pads are way more gentle on my skin, especially because I use it with my cellar water. So I think I need to keep doing that because they've gotten a lot better. I also use this brow serum from Vegamore. And then lastly, I'm gonna use my Rosy Lips Vaseline. I love this thing. Okay, now I'm gonna do my hair mask. I honestly hate touching any oil, but I guess you're supposed to be doing this once a month. So I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> So four teaspoons of coconut oil. Wow, this is disgusting. <laughs> I think I went a little too hard in the front because the back of my head is like so dry. So you're supposed to leave this in your hair all day, but because it's already evening time, I'm gonna leave it in overnight. So I'm just gonna put my hair back in a bun. I really haven't done a hair mask in months, so doing this makes me want to get back into taking better care of my hair. I will say though, my hair has been the healthiest it's been in so long, so I am really proud of that. But I feel all nice and clean now. My brain feels like it just freed up so much space from everything that I did today, and I'm actually excited to go into May now. But that is all for my monthly reset. I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of my night relaxing. So thank you for being here. I love you all, and I will see you guys in next week's vlog.